Thank you for clicking this video and welcome to my space. Today's topic um, is inspired by Ziggy Namani. I was watching her video the other day and she did something like my most favorite things about 2022 or things I really loved in 2020 or something like that. Sha. Anyway, it got me thinking while I was watching and I told myself, why not just film the same thing on my channel and obviously express myself based on my own favorite things in 2022 and I hope you guys really like it. So yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. If that's something you don't mind watching, sit back, relax and let's have a good time listening to me and me reading you in the comment section while you're watching. My name is Stephanie guys and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. <laughs> Yeah, so as I said, my name is Stephanie. I'm a fashion lifestyle content creator, nine to five babe, guys. I work in finance like full time. And today we're going to be talking about things I loved in 2022. Please click the thumb up button right now. It helps the video. Just click it right now. It doesn't, it doesn't take anything. If you've never subscribed, subscribe to. It's totally free. So for this um, topic, I wanted to divide things into different segments. Not too many segments, yeah. fashion, lifestyle, and tech. She's a fashion girl, so let's start with the fashion. One thing I really started doing in 2022 and stuck to is my shoot days before, the year before, because I have a set of girls, a group of girls I formed, and we go shooting together. Guys, I, I, like in a month, I can shoot three times. Like once shooting is just doing, I'll just ring one of them, two of them, you know, and then we're going to shoot. But for this year, what I decided to do was one day a month, we decide and there's a month like everyone is so busy we don't even shoot in a month so it was it was just so helpful because it kind of made me organize myself more work on you know other content and you know you saw we're piling up content and you're still shooting on saturday you're disappearing from your family there's never enough because by the time you shoot shoot, shoot ah, you go and see instagram there's one new type of real transition that's happening you want to shoot again that kind of thing so with this year we were able to come together and start doing shoots once a month like compulsory kind of and then if so no one is available we we'll just move skip the next month so yeah organizing my shoot days is one amazing thing i did this year and i'm definitely going to in fact i'm going to be more vicious with next year's one because next year i'm going to have a schedule to an extent for my youtube the next thing i really love this year fashion wise is zara <laughs> guys i always love zara in fact this outfit i'm wearing now is zara Zara, I love the color, love the everything. If I like Zara, I like Zara, why? Because of their style. They know how to cut pieces to suit bodies, though they can be sizes in that, um, I don't know, you'd be, you'd be an S somewhere, you'd be wearing XL in Zara, that kind of thing. But another thing I love about Zara, guys, is their customer service in the sense that you can buy something online and then go to the store to return it. And then, guys, when you do that, you literally get your money that day. You get when you do online returns. I think now I even heard they started charging 1.9. I've never tried it, but I heard you, I read it on the news they started charging 1.9 like boohoo when you're returning stuff on with, with, with on the post. But the fact that you can go and return, you know, at the store, do some of their <laughs> customer service agents could be very sassy you when you go. But I just like the fact that you can actually just go and return something. I just know, okay, I don't like it, or you know, and you're just getting your money immediately. That gets your money immediately is not sometimes, it's mean that day, sometimes 48 hours, but a lot of times for my own card, for some reason, it comes that day. Another thing I love about them is the fact that you can have same day delivery, guys. Same day delivery. I know a lot of luxurious stores do same day delivery, but with Zara, Zara is not, it's high streets. You get, you pay $7.95 and the outfit is coming that day. You can return quickly. They deliver quickly their customer service you can um, chat with them on whatsapp or imessage Obviously, they make good clothing so yeah zara is another thing or platform i would say i liked and used a lot in 2022 last but not least with fashion i will probably just call a brand and that's kai collective i don't go straight into that obviously you guys would have watched my video when i went for her sample sale i think i just got more respect for the girl man and i was just excited with the fact that i had some pieces the first time her outfit came out i was like this is not too pricey i waited till the sales that year and got one sky blue shirt it was nice puffy sleeves once i was tired of wearing this i sold it it sold out fast and then i have some other things i showed you guys when i went to tenerife some things i've got from kai in the past so let me just show you quickly now this um, bikini top. I have a picture. I'll probably insert it now. And then this um, Kai dress. This is the classic Gaia dress. The lovely thing about this piece is such a versatile piece. Like I can wear it as a dress. You can wear it as a top. You can wear it as like the cover of your swim. Amazing. Then in the same um, classic Gaia print, I have the leggings. This leggings, are you thinking it's see-through and everything? Oh, more quality.com. No thread flying anywhere. Very thick. It stretches really nicely. What else do I have? Okay, obviously the bottoms of that one I showed you. And I also have this top, this purple top. 
um, from them. I should have, I actually thought I was going to wear this for this video, but I forgot. <laughs> And then obviously the bag that carries everything. So Kai Collective is black owned business. She's really serious with the business. The business is making waves and you should support Fisa Yolongi on Kai Collective. So that's one of the things I loved in 2022 with regards to fashion so guys let's go to lifestyle so for lifestyle the first thing i'll talk about is um, vision board so last year there are all the other years like vision board was not something i really used to do like my own vision board was just maybe i would just save something on instagram in like a folder called something or pinterest you know i'll just save different things and just have things in my head but last year i decided to actually write these things down so obviously i have things that inspire me things i use as my muse but i wrote things down as well and then with regards to that, I didn't just write things I wanted for myself. I also wrote things I wanted for my friends. So that's the difference between my previous vision boards and thought processes and the one of 2022. So for 2022, I actually like called on, like, well, I, because vision boards sometimes, when you write it, that's kind of like prayer points as well. Obviously, some of the things you can't, you've not attained or you're trying to attain or you're just hopeful for, do you get? So I also put things I was hopeful for some, for some of my friends down and yeah, I'm quite happy with the fact i did that because there's been some progress i was just reading the other day and i can see some things that seen that my friends have been praying on and you know it's manifesting so that's something i'm going to do again this year i haven't planned my next year so my vision was sometimes i write in january but i'll try and write it this december and obviously include my friends in it Talking about including my friends in my vision board, I want to talk about this book that my friend wrote. Yeah, it's actually delivered today. So my friend is Pamela Okoli. We're friends in secondary school. And then Jedi is just to me, ah, ah, Steph, that I, you know, she calls me IJ, IJ, I wrote a book. Oh, I want you to read the book. But, you know, she, I think you could read it on Kindle for free. Where I went to Anamaza, like, nah, girl, I'm buying your book. It's a kid's book, so it's so easy to read. I'll probably give it to my friend's kids and I'll read it myself. I'll probably talk about it maybe when I'm um, shooting some other videos. So her name is Pamela. She was Pamela Okoli in secondary school, but she's now Pamela Obi. And then she's an author. Yeah, that's, I'll probably keep praying for the rest of my friends and yeah i didn't pray for this so i didn't even know she's going to ever write a book but yeah i'm just saying you know it's just good when people around you are winning another thing i would say that i learned that uh, country practice in 2022 is um, relating to lifestyle this precisely my nine to five is not taking things personal a lot of things happen in my workplace that if i'm taking them personal i would have you know reacted properly i would have been more productive as a productive i thought i was last this year so not taking things personal, especially when someone asks you to do something, you just, you know their mind somehow, but just tell yourself not to take it personal. Another thing I learned is speaking on things. I'm sure I've mentioned that before, but this year I saw it a lot, like things I'll just say I want. I, do, I think when I say I want it, my actions kind of align and the mother nature of whoever listens also aligns and makes it happen. So a lot of things I spoke on actually manifested. In fact, the last collaboration of this year I did was something I wrote on my vision, but I want to coll collaborate with this company and literally it happened. So I think speaking on things, writing them down, I know writing down, mm, but you can also write to your phone. It's not only barrier paper, you can write to your phone as well and just just keep talking, let's keep, you know, you don't know how you just make the, oh, you might even be the one to make the moves without knowing, but the fact that you're just like talking about it will actually align your actions towards that goal. So last thing for lifestyle is just seeing the best in things, seeing the best in things in people with my friendships. Oh my God, I had a lot of topsy turvy stuff with friendships and then you'll not be conversing with them and you're just like, oh my, this I was feeling that time or oh my, but this how, this way I dealt with it. Just see the best in things. I will let some, when something is happening, sometimes give the person an excuse. Yeah, my friend uh, Mobiladi actually mentioned this, that she tries to give, give people excuse for what they did. Sometimes that excuse is actually real, do you get? But sometimes you have to actually speak out. But giving people an excuse or seeing the positive parts of what they might be doing, because these people are your friends for a reason. Do you get? They're actually good people. That's why you made them your friends. So when things are just doing like this, like this, no matter there could be miscommunication, it might even be you. So just try and see the positive things of the things and then give your best still. As long as you're, you're in that situation, you're in that friendship, you're in that marriage, you're in that relationship, give your best to it. And yeah yeah <laughs> so that's something i know i'm going to carry so that's it for lifestyle let's go to tech guys so for tech the first thing i'll say is google oh my gosh the google apps i have my google folder so i have um some apps on my google folder the first one is gmail i don't even really use that one i don't know i have your what, youtube studio. okay youtube studio obviously the google thing now and my google docs oh my gosh my google docs guys i put everything here like on like the notepad on iphone this thing doesn't delete and you can send the pdf like if i'm going to shoot to my girls the next day i've already written all the names postcodes everything my google docs 
um, attaching as PDF, send it to their WhatsApp, we're moving on the road, we're looking at Google Docs. It just makes you more organized and you have everything written down in like document form, but on your phone. The other one is uh, my business. Okay, I think this is for the Amina London. Google Ads. If you want to promote like your website, your blog, use Google Ads app. Google Chrome. I don't really use it on the phone. I don't know why it's here. Maybe there was a reason I put it there, Shabo. Then Google Photos, obviously. Google Photos just does that to remind you of pictures that, no, no, I don't even know. I think they're your Google Drive. That's why they are there. Then I also, I think this video one is Google Drive. And then there's Google. This last one, Google, this particular one, you can search pictures. You know how you can use your laptop to search pictures? You know, like if you want to search Google for, let's say, a name, let's say you want to write Pinterest on Google. So writing Pinterest can actually search Google for a picture. So this particular one helps you search Google for a picture, but on your phone. Normally, you cannot do it on laptop, you can't do it on phone, but with this app, you can do it on your phone. So this um, Google, especially the Word document, has made me so organized with, you know, saving documents, sending out documents, people just communicating easily, easily. Sometimes we write an invitation letter, your daddy, I wrote it. When another person asked me, I just went and edited, said, ah, ah, so, so fast, you just be on the go, and I'm such an on the go, babe. So yeah, that. So the next one is an app I've always talked about. I've even done a video, I don't know why I've not shown you guys this video yet, is my Vinted app, guys. Vinted is an app that I think changed my life as well. Because it made me able to sell my clothes fast without fees and then um, also do some kind of trade there. In my Vinted video, I'll tell you guys much more about the Vinted app. But Vinted app, last but not the least, is an app as well called Just Answer. So Just Answer, um, I found out Just Answer from Treasure. My husband who said I was breaking out, blah, 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 go and see dermatologist. Me, I'm not, I'm very lazy when it comes to hospital things. And then now you have to tell me beauty. I'm not really a beauty person. So I'm just like, I start, I start looking for beauty, dermatologist. I did that beauty process early this year. I've just never shared you guys when I did chemical peel and all that. Like it was just long. I said, you know what, let me just go. Because I remember during COVID, there was one um, um, esthetician that was advertising um, online facial appointments. So I said, you know what, let me just go and check. I remember to go and check. I saw this app called Just Answer. So with this app, guys, you just register. You have three days free trial to talk to any kind of doctor you want in the UK. You see that CV, see your resume, see how, how, the amount of time you'll be doctors. So oh, well, I just went and downloaded it. And then now, you know, took a picture of my face, just so you know, that told me ah, that you're reacting to something which I already knew. And then, but he told me what to use. And I've been using it, and to be honest, it's clear, like my, would you saw me the other day, like, ah, your face, like, you know, the face is just improving. So I also have, even him, oh, he had some spots as well, or some, but it wasn't like mine. So I now, because it was still free trial, I didn't know if they would allow me to use, like, my family members. And I just said, please, can I speak to a female doctor, so a female dermatologist? They didn't reply me immediately. I think this was, like, 10 p.m., Sha. So the next day, someone now came and, hi, what's your problem? So we now took pictures of the face, and she's like, yeah, acne, food, facial routine. No more. Hobby has facial routine now. Benzonin, Pedine, Adeline, as in so kind of thing, I would just say, Sarah, V, Kini, Kini, Ha. So me, I'm just my Neutrogena and L'Occitan <laughs> umbrella. I was looking at his products. Sometimes I shall wash my face and you know, you feel fresh. His face cleared. His face is naturally good to be honest. Amazing. Like, if I have any other issues again, obviously I'll have to now start paying for this. But things that I did is the free trial period to sort out my issues. So I didn't want them again. And that app thing I'll mention is PayPal. Oh. You guys, PayPal saves lives. Like, all these people, anytime you want to pay for any subscription, pay for anything, just if you have PayPal option, use it. Because PayPal will help you fight some battles. So always try to use PayPal. If you're just your cardio and your back will be speaking English. But with PayPal, though HSBC, they, they, they sort out those rubbish shabo paypal guys if you I'll just add bonus if you can get a paypal account get a paypal account anyway guys that's about it for the things i loved in 2022 what are the things you loved in 2020 share it in the comment section so we all learn from you guys please click the thumb up button if you haven't yet if you haven't subscribed do so i love you guys so much for coming back if you're not a new subscriber if you're not a new watcher my name is stephanie i'm a 95 compliance babe content creator babe and a girl about to soar and fly in 2023. <laughs> See you guys at the next episode. Bye.